So why is copper so special? What about copper as an advantage over aluminum, steel, or silver? Firstly, we look at cost. What is really practical and affordable for widespread use? Next, we look at what materials have a good conductivity. And finally, we look at durability, melting point, flexibility, and electrical conductivity. Copper is able to bend without being very brittle. So copper is excellent for wires because of this property. Another great property of copper is its electrical and thermal conductivity. These are related, and this is because of its atomic structure. Atomic number of copper is 29. That means it has 29 electrons. And when the copper uh, metallic bonds are formed, the last two electrons are more free, so they can move around the lattice much more easily. So copper in the metallic bonds has so many extra free electrons to move around, so that's why it's a good conductor of electricity. Copper, believe it or not, is made of crystals. Not these crystals, but tiny microscopic crystals. The longer the molten metal takes to cool, the larger the crystal. In metallurgy, we call crystals grains. In each grain, copper atoms are lined up in a lattice. If you are designing an electrical product, you might want your copper to have different properties. By changing the impurities, like the oxygen content or alloy, you can change the performance. The way you work with metals can also give you desired results. By cold working your metal, you create many dislocations in the grain structure. With a tangled set of dislocations, it becomes stronger.